So what we've been asked to do, a robot to help people who are physically challenged around in their own homes. So the arm only has 12 inches of travel itself. And we're trying to reach a fridge or a countertop, which is around 30 inches, 46 inches high. So we really had to create a Z axis to give more movement vertically. And this has been the toughest challenge. Well, certainly the tasks that we're asked to complete and asked to do is something that you can't do just with a MEC E degree or just with an ECS E degree. You really need everyone to work together. So a large part of the challenge here has actually been formalizing which components we wanted to use and how. Uh, because most of the different things we could use want to use different power requirements. So yeah, we are integrating a lot of electrical systems, but we had to create the Z-axis lift to give this extra reach completely from scratch. That's not something I, as an electrical engineer, could have done. So it makes sense to ensure that any given team has people who can do any portion of engineering. Well, I'd have to say you, you take everything you've learned so far and you finally put it to good use. I know everything I've done, every engineering analysis I've done is something that I've learned in a previous class and now I can finally apply it to a real life situation. And Capstone encapsulates everything that I've done as a mechanical engineering major so far. The groups I'm working with, uh, their projects are specifically centered around helping people. Uh, so when they're able to present their final presentation at the end of the semester, they're actually presenting a tool that's gonna help someone live a better life. Mm -hmm.